Welcome to Yoga For You. With your host, Anna Del Rosal, Certified Yoga Teacher. Yoga is not a substitute for medical attention, examination, diagnosis, or treatment. Please check with your doctor before beginning any exercise regimen, especially if you recently had surgery, are pregnant, or postnatal. If at any moment something doesn't feel right, please stop. It's important to listen to your body. I will provide detailed instruction as you move in and out of poses to ensure your safety. If you have any questions, contact your local yoga teacher or studio. Thank you for tuning in. Have a blessed day. Welcome to Yoga For You with Anna. Today we're going to do a little bit more mellow and just come down on your backs. Um, and most of us can be down on our backs. We might come up to sit or all fours. But there's just some days I know that like I want to move, do something, but the energy's not all there. So to start, just come to lay down on your backs, please. And just have your knees bent and arms out by your, actually one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. And either you can have your knees touching or just keep your knees bent. And just let's take a couple of deep breaths here. So as you breathe, just really feeling the breath in that, in your, like underneath your hand in your chest and underneath the hand in the belly. And as you exhale, just soften here. And again, inhaling, filling up your lungs, your belly with your breath. And just exhaling fully. Just take a couple more breaths. And just take two more breaths here. And then if your knees are touching, just separate your feet, arms by your side. And let's just start by bringing that um, left ankle over your right thigh. So your option is to stay here. You could hug the knees in, draw the knees into your chest and slide your hands through and grab the right hamstring, the right shin. And then let's actually just rock side to side. So you'll notice as you're moving through from side to side that there's a, some areas where the tissues feel a little bit more tight, more tender. And then just find a spot that you want to hang out in. So it could be off to the side a little bit. And we'll let this right foot relax. And maybe gently press that left elbow into the left thigh. I'm just taking a couple of deep breaths here. I'm just taking three more breaths. back through center. Bring your arms out to the side and you're actually going to keep the legs as this shape and you're going to just drop them over to the right. If you happen to have the right leg up, you're going to twist to the left. Keep that left knee facing the ceiling and you can take your right hand and place it, place it in to that left thigh. There's an opening up through the hip here. I'm just taking a couple of big deep breaths. 
So once you settle into the pose, feel free to just close your eyes. And just take two more breaths. So as you move today, I just really want you to feel your body. So there may not be as much instruction. Good, and then just release the hand, draw the legs back up through center, release that foot. And then we'll switch sides. So right ankle to the left thigh. You can stay here if this is enough. You can hug it in. Grab that left arm string. And again, rock side to side. If the shin's available to you, feel free to grab the shin. So you're just rocking. And it just can be very gentle if you want. And you can always just stay in the middle. And again, just noticing the fibers through the hips, areas where it may be tight. And then just come to rest in the middle. Relax the shoulders here. Maybe gently press that right thigh away from you. Take three more breaths. Good, one more breath. Good, and then release. You're breathing in for four count and out for four count. Two more breaths here. And just take one more breath. And then inhale, come back through center. Good, hug both knees into your chest again. And then if you want, you can lift your forehead to your knees if you like. I'm just gonna stay down, but, and even just gently rocking side to side. And then settle into the middle. Keep that right knee hugged in, and you're going to straighten the left leg. If this is too much for your left psoas, feel free to bend that knee. And then bring your hands behind the right hamstring and just straighten the right leg and then bend. We'll do that a couple of times. So as you straighten, flex the foot, opening up the, hand, the back of the leg. And twice more, just extend. And last time, extend. Good. Grab a hold of the hamstring. You can walk your hands up the shin, the, th the calf, if that's available to you. If you can grab your toe without putting strain on your shoulder, feel free to do that as well. And just take a couple of deep breaths here. You can really think of lengthening through the back of that leg. Take two more breaths. And then just slowly release. And we'll do the other side. So hug that left knee into your chest, please. You can grab the hamstring or the shin. And the right leg can be straight, bent. 
And just take a couple deep breaths here. And then grab the hamstring and extend the leg and bend. We'll do four of these. Just extend and bend. Good, two more. And bend. And then last one and go up and hold. So hold the hamstring, walk your hands up a little higher, grab your toe. But wherever you are, make sure you're not straining to get into the pose so you're not reaching up out of the shoulder. So you're still finding ease here. Good, two more breaths. And then draw the leg in. This time what we're gonna do, and we're gonna get more of a stretch for the, the glutes or the attachment point of the glutes to the sacrum. You're gonna take, actually let's bring our feet to the mat. Take your right knee, cross it all the way over. So this may be enough for some of you and some other one for some of you may be able to lift the legs, draw the knees in and grab the hamstrings. Some of you may be able to grab your shins and some people the feet. So pick what you would like for today and then hug the knee, knees in. Also check in, make sure that you haven't hiked your right hip up to create a, to create a false sense of more space. Keep your pelvis level. You can lift the tailbone up a little bit if you like. Good, four more breaths. So here we're stretching the piriformis, the external rotators, the muscles that turn your leg out, as well as you might feel the stretch along the sacrum. So great one if you have sciatic pain, piriformis syndrome. Take one more breath, please. And then slowly release your hands. Release the legs and let's switch sides. Take that left knee over top and hug it in. Again, if you're more comfortable just keeping both feet on the mat, feel free. Grab the hamstrings, the shins, the feet. Your choice. So there's just gonna be a different amount of pressure on your pelvis or through the stretch, depending upon where you grab. But find your position and just drop right back into your breath. Take two more breaths here. Good, and then slowly release. Hug the knees in. And let's actually do a, a couple of bridges. So arms by your side, feet are hip width apart, and just check in. You can either feel or look and make sure that your toes aren't turned out or your hips aren't really wide here. So your knees should, be, your feet should be in line with the knees that are in line with the hips. Take a full breath in. So inhaling fully, exhale completely. And we're gonna do dynamic bridge. So you're gonna inhale, lift your hips, lift your arms overhead, and then exhale, just roll down one vertebrae at a time. Good. I'm gonna move my feet in closer. So inhale, lift the hips, Make sure you stay connected to the, through the entire foot that you're not lifting the balls of the feet. Exhale, roll down, or some toes. And again, three more inhale. Exhale, lower. And twice more, inhale, come up. Exhale, lower. 
and then last one come up. You can keep your arms by your side or take them over your head. You may interlace them underneath you. And just really opening up through the chest, the front body here. And lengthen your tailbone towards your knees. Good, two more breaths. One more breath. And then slowly roll down. Hug your knees in. We'll do a twist here again. Just arms out to the side, simple twist, drop your legs to the left. And you can draw your legs in towards your underarm as much as you like. Now if there's space between your two knees, you can take a fist if you have a sweatshirt or something close by that you can nestle in there, feel free to take that. It just allows um, your body to rest a little bit further when there's something for it to rest upon or to be supported by. Oftentimes when something's hanging in the air, we're engaging a little bit more to keep it up there versus resting it. Take two more breaths. And then inhale, slowly come up and twist to the other. So this one, all you're going to do is put arms down by your side, legs straight up. So it's a modified um, shoulder stand. And it's still helpful for reversing the, especially the lymph system that doesn't have a pump like our vascular system. So you're allowing that lymph system, the fluid to drain down. And you might also feel your abs engage. So here directly over your hips, not over your belly button. You may need to bend the knees if your hamstrings are tight. But just soften your head. If you need a blanket or something underneath your head, feel free to take that. So your forehead should be higher than your chin. Maybe hug the legs together a little. Let's take 10 more breaths here. And five more breaths, please. Good. Take one more breath. And then hug your knees in. And you're going to extend your legs straight out for Shavasana. So allow your feet to flop open. If you need to slide the shoulders down your back, slide the shoulders down. And just observe your breath in your belly. So you're not shaping your breath here. You're just watching your abdomen move up and down as you breathe. So don't deepen your breath. Just watch it. It's as if you're just this observer outside of your body. So 
So if you're short on time today, we'll start to deepen the breath. If you want to stay here longer, feel free and just really enjoy this moment of rest. Otherwise, just move your fingers and your toes. Take a deep breath in, extending your arms overhead. And then hug your knees into your chest, please. And press up to sit. And just take a moment here, close your eyes. And either rest your hands on your knees or hands to prayer at your heart center. And just take this time to connect and just observe where you are right now. It's of, of yoga. Of, And just take a moment to think of one thing that you're grateful for today. Thank you for tuning in. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.